Hey guys, it's Peter at Boyne Country Sports Grand Rapids. Back to you for another Tech Talk Tuesday for the month of Women in Winter. Um, this week we're going to be showcasing some of our soft goods products that we have here at this store and available at some of our other stores. Um, both brands are available at all of our BCS locations. Um, starting with Patagonia, this is the snow drifter setup, both the bibs and the shell up top, and then our base or mid layer being the R1, which is very technical in itself. It has a bunch of little zipper pockets. Um, this one in particular is a quarter zip, so there's no zipper on the middle of the body here. So when you're skiing or snowboarding, being active, you're not gonna get any kind of rubbing um, which is a nice feature. Um, has a fixed hood. Really like the color. This teal and, and light navy looks really good together. And this jacket um, has a proprietary membrane in it called H2 No, for, and that's proprietary to Patagonia. Um, it's like their version of Gore-Tex essentially. If if you've ever heard of that, it's a semi-breathable membrane um, and it's also fully seam sealed. So it's gonna keep all of the wind and water out, including all of the exterior zippers. So each zipper has a fold over of that membrane on the outside. So if you have your cell phone or any electronics on the inside, it's gonna keep those nice and dry, even if you're skiing on a pow day or even here in the Midwest, like if you're getting a little sprinkle of rain in the spring, stuff like that, it's sure going to bead the water off of all of the important areas. So we have a side zip here that's going to be an extra shoulder pocket where you could put your RFID pass in, which most resorts do have nowadays, uh, Boyne in particular. And then we have your underarm zip vents here. So if this opens up. And then there's no mesh in this jacket, so you can actually reach right through for those warm days. This jacket basically has all of the technical options that you would want in, in this type of jacket. So you have a fold over cuff adjustment here. side pockets and then like I said this is a fixed hood but this is also an over the helmet hood so it's nice and big so if you're out skiing or snowboarding on a day where it's just dumping snow then it's going to cover everything up and it's also also has a high collar so this is going to end up right at the top of your nose so if it's a really chilly day and you're on the lift blowing, snowing, then you can tuck your face under um, and leaves enough room for if you're wearing a gator as well. And then as far as the bibs go, we've got a stash pocket up here. It goes pretty deep. This is also has an elasticity to it, so it's not a like a fixed pocket. So there's some shock absorption there too. So if you're putting like, you know, any snacks or anything like that, you've got a good amount of room in there and it's not gonna be fixed in one spot. So it's kind of move with your body as, as you're being active, which is a nice feature. And then the bib straps or shoulder straps, they have a little like J hook on the outside. So those can be stretched, removed, and they also have full adjustment on the left and right side. And then even more pockets on the bottom. So these are on each left and right side of the pant, so there's more storage there. Again, both jacket and the bibs are a shell, so you're gonna wanna get a nice base layer like the R1 through R3 with Patagonia or anything that's gonna be kind of, that's gonna be a good enough insulation based on you know your your body type and how you deal with the cold or the heat and then last
last lead to complete the package. Um, we have a Giro Nips helmet here. This particular model is called the Terra. And if you're unfamiliar with Nips, you'll likely see this yellow tag here. It's always in a circle and it says MIPS on it. And that is gonna mean that there's a shock absorption si system inside of the helmet. So it's a patented system that most brands are using nowadays. And it's basically an inner lining inside of the helmet, which allows a twisting motion so if you were to have any side impact, especially if you're skiing in trees, things like that where there's obstacles at play, then if you were to slide out on an edge and accidentally fall in a twisting motion, then it's gonna have that sideways and vertical shock absorption. So you're less likely to have a neck injury and that's the purpose of that. And then lastly, we have the target line from Oakley. And for the Midwest specifically, this is a really like comfortable goggle. It fits well with most helmets. Um, cylindrical, classic lens, um, but the lens is the best part about it. So it's this yellow tint and it's not great for super bright sunny days but for most Midwest days and in particular night skiing, that yellow hue will reduce glare and you're able to see contour in the snow. So if there's any obstacles ahead of you in your path, then you are able to see that contrast in the white material and you're able to you know, stay away from it. Um, Super cool color for this year. Um, this this uh, example kind of worked out really well um, from top to bottom. Uh, but this is this is great gear, and it comes in at a decent price point for the whole kit. And um, that's that's it for Patagonia, the Oakley goggles, and the Giro helmet. Um, just wanted to mention also on the Opre side um, that we do carry. Uh, Kari Tra at all of our locations and Kari Tra is a brand that is designed by women and that's kind of their motto and so we they're they're known for a lot of their really intricate cool prints and base layers and um, soft lifestyle materials but we also carry some of their newer um, technical skiing gear where um, we sell insulated jackets and that's going to be a, quite a bit different from the technical Patagonia style. Uh, it's more of your traditional puffy shorter waist or higher waisted I should say jackets um, on, the, on the ski and snowboard side and then we also carry some longer length uh, puffy parkas that are super insulated and super warm from this brand. Um, this has been super popular for all of our locations. It's gone over very well. It's high quality and as far as base layers go, even if you were to made it to this package here um, as a lower base layer or an upper base layer, you'd be in really good shape. So. That's it for this Tuesday, and we'll be bringing you more women's content for the month of October. And thanks a lot for tuning in, and we'll see you next week. Next week.